<sighs> oh yes. Very well, thank you. Oh, okay, wonderful, thank you. Oh yes. Okay. Thank you very much.
when you're ready. Oh, thank you very much. Have y'all been busy today? Just a steady stream. Well, that's good. <laughs> Thursday was super slow, and then, you know, it just goes in spurts. It does. I think when people see someone else here, people stop. Yes. And uh, so it was just kind of like a slow ride for a while. Yeah. And then it was kind of ready when you all are <laughs> thank you hello you guys and welcome to my garage where i store all of my items that i have just purchased from yard sales so i'm going to take you through and show you what i picked up today um real quick i'll just start down here because it was like just one solitary item from a yard sale um it's just per se which is under the same umbrella as carlisle i believe this is more kind of like the like loungy summery line um size small it's just a gray and white sort of striped long sleeve top with a very fun little kind of tie cuff detail probably aim for around 15 to 18 on that 
Oh, and that cost a dollar, in case you're wondering. Okay, and then everything else is from a yard sale that I just happened to stumble upon on my way home. They had a lot of like what I would refer to as dead stock or new old stock. So like vintage items still in the box or like um, with tags on and things like that. I only picked up the pieces that I felt were like really stand out. Um, but it was really fun to go shopping there and see a lot of those kind of items. They had so much I couldn't possibly look through everything, but I did my best. So um, I grabbed this again, new with the tags. Everything was half price, by the way. So any prices you see marked, I paid half of that. Um, and this has such small world vibes, like, you know, as in the Disney ride. Um, yeah. I, I kind of liked it. It was cool. Um, so lots of just different, you know, nations and things like that. Definitely fun. Definitely kind of awesome. Um, and with it being new with tags and vintage as well. And this is all like tapestry type embroidered, by the way. So could not leave this behind. Way too unique. All right, next item. Again, new with tags. Very, very loud. Very, very 90s. Um, there is the older tag. Uh, this is what it looks like up here. Um yeah lots of keywords come to mind what can i say let me know if you have some as well um but it is all kind of like glitter embellished and whatnot and it has quite the shoulder pads going on so very southwestern and all that good stuff uh yeah let me know your keywords for this because i'm sure there are plenty out there that i am not thinking of but southwestern is where i'm going with this initially <laughs> Okay, this bad boy is going to go up ASAP. I have been selling like, um, you know, kind of ugly, but awesome um, Halloween uh, sweaters so well this year. They've been flying off the shelf for me. I'm going to list this bad boy for like 35 or so. Um, I just think it's really cool. It is missing the odd button, unfortunately, but that has not stopped me yet. It is cool. So they have fluffy ghosts and cats wearing witches hats and masks and all kinds of awesomeness uh, candy corn uh, it does need a little bit of a clean unfortunately there's a little bit of dirt at the cuffs but i will probably spot clean that um and i paid a dollar for this so like i said listing for around 35 or so another great find here um look at that tag i love the way that tag looks like the graphics and stuff very very cool um this is a vintage tennessee ut tennessee volunteers um sweatshirt collared which is like seems to be doing really well for me right now i don't know why but those seem to be selling extra well for me right now um and i love my vintage collegiate wear so this one probably go up for around 40 or so another new with tags um vintage piece dead stock whatever you want to call it there we go i don't know much about the brand sold at jc penny originally um there we go. There's the tag as well. And I grabbed this purely based on style. Look at the print on this blazer. Again, super Southwestern vibes. Very, very kind of in right now. And it's so soft and lovely and like lightweight. So nice for fall. And I also grabbed a pair of like dead stock uh, mom jeans, like serious mom jeans. <laughs> um, so I paid $3 for these. They are a light wash, as you can see. Tapered leg, incredibly like high rise, um, just awesome in every possible way. So being new with tags and stuff, those will probably go up for around 40. And then we have a pair of mom jean, uh, actual like jean shorts. So pleated front, all cool keywords. Um, they had really interesting prices here like 275 i never see that at yard sales usually they just round it up but oh well that's fine um size 14 so a good size as well um they'll probably go up well they build blast they'll go up for like 20 to 25 probably more like 25 because i think they're awesome uh this is a total stab in the dark and may not bring me any profit but i am going to learn something so that's what i'm aiming for here um it is just a huge thing full of baseball cards basically older ones as well i don't know exactly Exactly when they're from um this is kind of more for my husband as well he's been wanting to kind of get into some of these and just learn a bit more there they are 1987 uh, leaf incorporated i don't know anything about them whatsoever but my motto is if you don't know anything about something but you think it's like something that you should learn about you got to learn right so five dollars for this whole box i am going to learn something about baseball cards um and even if it's just you know a lesson learned and i just sell them for like you know five bucks as they are well, i don't know um it's gonna be good though I, I think it's worth my time just kind of branching out a little bit and sort of trying to increase my niche if you like all right and then the last few items from that one uh paid a dollar fifty for this i scanned it on the barcode because it's new and sealed it looks like i can get probably around 25 or so for that 
Um, vintage hat says football is life and it is textured like a football. Big ball sports made in the USA snapback. So that'll probably go up for around 25 or so. Uh, vintage Lisa Frank backpack. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Lisa Frank, when it has the capital L, is usually like actually vintage. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments. But I think that's the way it works out. I always kind of go back and forth. But it's got the uh, dancing Easter bunnies, as it were. Apart from the name on the back, it's in pretty good condition. Um, and I, I'm not sure what these are going for right now. But for a dollar, I figured it was worth trying. Okay, and I grabbed this just because it made me laugh. Uh, definitely vintage, got the older graphics and stuff. Active living is serious fun. I just think someone's going to really like this. It's just like a little drawstring kind of tote bag. Cost me 50 cents. <laughs> I don't know. Easy to ship and store and all that kind of stuff. But I really like the older graphics. It just makes me happy. So I decided to throw that in my pile as well. And then the last item I'm going to show you, if I can flip it around, I'm going to show you the back first, actually, is this JVC stereo tuner. You can see the model number there. She gave it to me for three dollars. It has, uh, I brought it home. I plugged it in like it turns on just fine. And actually, the comps don't look too bad. Anywhere from 20 to 35. So for three dollars, probably worth giving that a try. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this very eclectic and random vintage haul, then please do think about giving this video a thumbs up. And if you like thrifty content and you enjoy thrift with me's and yard sales and things like that, then please do think about hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can come back and hang out some more. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, you guys.